So here is my Drupal 8 site. And the only thing that I've done before recording is I downloaded all the modules and I also downloaded Devel and installed Devel Generate. So we can have dummy content and dummy comments. So if you are looking for a way of creating test content, check out Devel Generate. So to begin, let's first install Page Manager and Panels. And to do this, just go to Extend and search for Page Manager and install the Page Manager UI and also Panels and just click on Continue. So to create our custom homepage, just go to Structure and you should see a new link there called Pages. Click on it and click on Add Page. Add Homepage to the administrative title and give it a path of just homepage. And from the variant dropdown, select panels and click on next. Just click on next. And from the layout dropdown, select two columns stacked. Because remember, we want to display two blocks side by side and a text block right up the top. So select two columns stacked and click on next. And from the content page, you can configure which blocks go into which regions, but we can configure this on the next page. So just click on finish for now. So right now we have created our custom home page, and this is the general page manager user interface. You can delete the page, you can add variants here on the right, you can reorder variants. And then on the left, you would have a list of all of your available variants, but in our case, we only have one, which is panels. But in a future video, we will have multiple ones and they will be displayed here on the left. So for us right now, let's add blocks into the left side and the right side. And to do this, just click on content and add new block. And what we'll do is add in recent comments to the left side. And you can also configure the block settings if you want to. And then just click on add block. And click on add new block again. And this time select recent content. And then from the region drop down, select right side. And then click on add block. Okay, so now we have added our blocks into the specific regions. Let's just save it. So scroll down and click on update and save. Now to make this home page somewhat useful, let's set it as the front page because remember right now the front page just lists out all content which has been promoted to the front page. So to do that, just click on configuration and then basic site settings and then add in home page to default front page, and then click on save configuration. So now if we go to the home page, we should see our custom page. We have our comments on the left and our content on the right. Now in the introduction, I mentioned that we'll add in a bit of text above both columns. And the way we'll do this is by creating a custom block and then adding it to the top region through page manager. And we'll also remove search and tools from the sidebar first region, just so that the home page is full width. So to configure these blocks, just go to structure, block layout. So let's first remove search and tools from sidebar first. And then just click on save blocks. Now click on custom block library and let's create our header block and click on add custom block. Let's call this homepage header. Header text goes here and we'll add a bit of text into the body and click on save. So right now we have created our custom block. Let's now add it to the top region in page manager. And the best way to do that is just go back to structure pages and then click on edit then content and then click on add new block and we should see it under custom 
homepage header. Make sure top is selected under region and then uncheck display title. We don't want the title to be displayed and then click on add block. And then update and save. Make sure you select update and save. That's often caught me off guard. And then if we go back to our homepage, we should see the page go full width because remember we removed the search block and tools block from the sidebar first and our header text is right at the top. So as you can see, Page Manager and Panels makes it very easy to create these arbitrary pages without writing any custom code.